Okay, so let's do the um, bamboo query. Um, the new concept you've got to come to grips with is that the dynamic faceted searching that we now have is only populated by the species that you have returned to a query. Okay, we haven't made a query yet, so there's no species returned and there's nothing inside of here. If I ask for bamboo, I can ask for all looking through all of the different facets, or I could ask for in commodity type if I like. Um, so let's ask commodity type and make a query. And here we have 13 results have come back. We have three species in Hemiptera, 10 species in Coleoptera, and then you can see the little numbers there. Two of those relate to um, field crops and pasture, 11 to forestry, um, seven to horticulture, um, beans one, citrus three, so on and so on. So if you can see by adding in these 13 species, it has now populated our facets. And that means that whenever we ask a query, we're never going to go to a dead end. We're always going to get a result because the information in the facets is dynamically generated from the information in the species. That's a major conceptual difference to how Paddle now works. Okay, so we're interested in saying, look at the Coleoptera. And it will tell us that to our initial query on bamboo, we have three, uh, three families of Coleoptera available to us. Eight species of Bostrichids, one Cerambicid and one Cuculionid. Let's say we say, well, I'm interested in the Bostrichids. And here we're building uh, down a taxonomic hierarchy. Uh, Coleoptera, Bostrichidae, we now have three subfamilies of Bostrichidae. And let's say we're keen on looking at this one down here. It's notice how it dynamically changes all the time the facet information. And I'm just keen on having a look at, for example, the four from Southeast Asia. Now, I can now close this up. I've come to my query, but we have now a very nice breadcrumb trail along here telling us what our query was, and at any time we can move backwards by simply removing that query term. Watch over here on the side here how many species there are. If I remove the subfamily query, we go back up to eight, which is what we had with the Bostrichids. I can go back into here now and say, okay, I just want to put those back in, and we're back to four queries, uh, four species to beg your pardon. When the species are returned, you have them by default, sorted by scientific name, but you can uh, resort them by common name, by taxonomy, and because we're using Lucene, it gives you the relevance. If you think about Google, how it ranks things, well, that'll give us how many times, uh, if a species, if the word bamboo occurs more times in the um, in, uh, in Brevis than it does in Japonicus or Minutus down below, uh, it will rank that at the top. We can have 10 species per page being shown, 20 or 30 species per page. We can have the images shown per page or remove the images and just simply have the, the names down there. But I like the images back up. And we'll be able to have outputs of PDF, CSV. We're uh, going to put in XML soon. And if you want, you can even subscribe an RSS feed to this query. The next thing is that we um, you can go into species pages um, and uh, and pop across there and there we have all the images that are available for you much the same as the old uh, paddle. Here we have now uh, what we call um, badges and this is we, this is um, these badges have now been or the information exotic status is now in line with the IPPC 1999 um, terms for what a uh, a regulated pest or a quarantine pest and so on. We also now have reliability. And this, this involves um, uh, the uh, who identified it and whether the specimen that we have photographed is available in an institution uh, that we can go back and look at again. If it wasn't the expert, was it? Okay, so um, to be able to, you can see that's quite different to the old paddle. Uh, your comparative image shoot uh, where you put species is always available to you to see. You can move species across one at a time, uh, remove them one at a time, you can clear all, if you can then move them all across in one go, or clear all. So we'll put them back, so there's many ways that you can get species across. If you have, say, for example, uh, 10 species uh, in your list of which you want to look at a comparative image of, uh, of, of eight, move them all across and then just remove the two. So we've now moved across our four species, and uh, when we click on it, uh, it tells us what images are common between the species we have in the comparative table shoot. And those, these are now the characters. There's different two facets. The characters are the actual image states that we have photographed. So we have antenna, elytra, head front, head side, pronotum, tarsi, and thorax side. Um, you can turn off any ones you like uh, to have a look at. And, 
and say, we'll look at these ones here. We'll look at the elytra, the head side, the pronotum. Let's turn off the tarsi and also the thorax side. Uh, and then we continue and it will build for us uh, our comparative image table. Uh, at any time, you can go across and have a look at the descriptions uh, for each of the species in a table or the commodity overviews uh, or the regions, uh, the distribution, uh, or come back to the images. You can also, if you have, we've brought it back with 800 pixel wide, but if you have a larger screen, you can simply click on this and it will then bring it across for the, um, for the wide screen there. Um, I'll just pop back that into here. Now, the big change uh, that we have at the comparative image table is it used to stop there. And yet here we have a number of species where um, I have a, a, a pronotum view here. And I guess the question has always been, well, what do you want me to look at? Uh, in this pronotum view? Uh, is it the number of bumps? Is it the width? Uh, there's a whole range of characters that are there. Uh, so what we have added now are character state analysis to, the, um, uh, to, to, these, um, to these images. And uh, what I want you to look at is that when it comes to the pronotum, I want you to look at the number of aspirites or the aspirites at the um, beginning, at the very top of the head here. Are they widely separated? Or as in this case here, they are contiguous. So uh, we've tagged each of the images with these. So I can say, show me the two middle right um, aspirites are contiguous. And remember, there are four species down here. If I choose that, it just takes us back to just the one. I can click and go back to the whole lot, or I can say, show me the aspirites are widely separated. So now the drop boxes, if there are uh, image character states, we can simply pull them down here. We're in the process of adding uh, images. Uh, so you'll soon be able to. Um, see what an image of uh, two aspirites almost contiguous or uh, the aspirites widely separated. So that's a big difference to what's happened uh, to the comparative image table. Once you've made your series of queries and you've got down to what you want uh, and you say that's fantastic, if you wanted to get back to that same place you're comparing your images, let's say for example you've got um, in this case here, we've got bamboo products coming in from Southeast Asia and we're looking at the Bostrichids. Um, you used to have to, to look at this table, create it every time you wanted to look at it. Now in the new paddle, because uh, we have social networking and because we have user registration and we have your own dashboard, you can save this template to your dashboard. So you've simply got to go into here and say save it. It will save all the characteristics, it'll show you uh, what species you've got and what characters you have, and then you simply put in a here S um, Asia bamboo, and then you can save it and it will go into your um, into your dashboard. Um, in fact, I've saved it already. It'll probably there we go, uh, and here it is in here. It's got two of them because I did it just previously. Uh, so this one down here, for example, has got four species, six species. Um, so as I said, but you can see how it uh, how it changed how, how you can now save it, and if you go to your dashboard, there they are down here. Okay.